This one is good, but you gotta know how to use it. La Tafa Oud Mood. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. I was going through my Oud collection, the cheapies, and this one has always been a um, tough one for me. So here's what happened. Spray time first. All right. When I first used it, it's one of those I thought I wasted my money because this one is so cheap, it's under 20 bucks. The presentation, there's a cylindrical box. I thought the presentation looks cool. A lot of them are very different and you can say gimmicky, but I don't mind, I actually like it. But it was so strong and harsh. I keep using the word harsh when I first smelled it. If I have done a review, first impression, I'll probably just put this one away in the back of the closet and never ever smell it again due to the larger collection that I have. I'll probably not even give this one a second chance. It smells, when I smell it up close, I'm getting the synthetic smell of woody or wood and it's not pleasant. So the first couple of times I used it, I really hate it. I did two or three spray, that was too much. The next time I used it, I did a uh, one or two spray. It was still too much and that was enough for me. I just put it away. Then for some reason it was end up on my desk. I have a bunch of fragrances on my desk and I just got this one, spread it on my shirt, one spray, forgot what I was doing. And then, wow, then that's when it hits me. This one is a beast that I should not overspray. One spray is enough and it smells better in the air than if I put my nose to my skin. Don't smell it up close. When I did that, I thought it was so synthetic and was just, just bad, just harsh, overdone as if the perfumer put too much of that, that chemical stuff in here. He forgot to stop. But when it's in the air, it is very nice. Now the opening is hard. The opening to me, it smells closer to here, Swiss Arabian. I like this one, but also is a powerful beast for me. I would say just, just for simplicity, okay? I would say about 80% similar, all right? But I'm talking about here, this one, this is, the Swiss Arabians, maybe cost me 30 some plus dollars. This one was 15 to 20, almost, half the price okay i'm smelling this one the pimento the chili i'm used to wood i enjoyed variety of wood even the skanky ones at some at times but this one has the um pimento the chili spicy chili and at first i wasn't sure what it was and afterwards i had to look it up and i thought okay this this thing that was making it harsh quote unquote harsh making the wood very strong and in a harsh way. I keep saying that, I do apologize, but that's the best description that I was feeling the whole time when I wore it the first few times. Later, when I'm smelling in the air, instead of putting my nose up close, then that tones down quite a bit. And when I wasn't even trying to smell it, it was a very pleasant, pleasant type of smell. It's woody, it's sweet from the caramel, and the pimento chili makes it a little bit unique, okay? More unique than the other typical wood, all right? And it, it, it works, it works for me. Later on, I'm getting that little bit of saffron, but it's not a, as powerful as the other fragrance, woody fragrance with saffron. But I gotta say the wood and the caramel, is, it plays well. Uh, I'm talking about in the air, not safe enough close, okay? So now I'm gonna talk about all the pleasant stuff, all right? I'm getting some the 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 amber and some resin. And in the base, in the middle to the base, I'll get more of the incense. This is an incense beast. I use a lot of incense, I mentioned this many times. Almost every day I'll use incense. At first when I use, I picked out the incense right away, but then the other stuff was so annoying. The, this, the power chemical up close smelling thing was so annoying that I hated it. I thought they screwed up this incense. I mean, incense is so beautiful and so meditative, very peaceful type of scent. And I always enjoy it. 
but this screwed it up so bad with this one until when I smell it up in the air. It was on my on my shirt and when I wave my arms around, it just smells peaceful. It just smells gorgeous in a manly way. But I would imagine lady be able to pull this off. Even though it's a strong woody type of scent, it does not go the skanky way, it doesn't smell bad, but it does smell just a bit medicinal, just a bit. Um, yeah. I'm smelling mostly is that caramel, woody, some of those incense, okay. like I said, it's an incense beast. Okay, I'm smelling up close right now. Yes, I'm still thinking out synthetic, so I gotta wave my arms around in, in the background here. The medicinal is just is just minor, so not to worry too much. So it's gonna be ambery. Um some vanilla, I would think it's a caramel, vanilla. I can't distinct exactly which one might be, but it's in the ballpark. Typically I would say this is for the cold weather. And always this type of especially woody type of scents, I would say is best for the cold weather. But you know what? This one is a Middle Eastern house. Um, I think it's made in the UAE. And I always thought it's hot there. It's dry and hot. How would they be able to use this? It's, you know, must be a very popular type of DNA in that region of the, uh, the, the world. But they would use that. So, uh, I don't know. You know, for me, I would think this is for cold weather. But I think for some of you, especially if you are used to wood maybe you can use this in a warmer weather okay but for me as a california the person that live in california in the u.s our weather is typically between 50 and you know 80 maybe sometimes 90 up to 100 but it doesn't last that long so i'm kind of spoiled as far as the seasons the temperature is concerned so when it's high heat it's hard for me but then i i'm, I'm um i have to be reminded that you know, some of you might be in those, uh, you know, different type of weather and you might still use this, okay? That's just a long way of saying, uh, it's just my opinion of how, what I think this is for, okay? Yeah, I'm smelling the vanilla, the incense. It, it's not really changing that much, but it's just in the base, I'm getting more of that incense. It's coming through stronger. The wool is there the whole time, but you will, you kind of tone down and kind of uh, mellow out a little bit. But it's still there with the caramel, the sweet caramel. I would think it's vanilla or caramel, either of those. All right. When I'm not smelling a little bit far away, it does not smell synthetic. But when I'm smelling up close, it does. i uh, repeating that just in case if you're picking this up and you smell it for the first time or first couple of times, be aware that, you know, don't smell it up close. All right. And it's going to make a world difference. Give it a try a few times, put it away. If it's a little bit too hard for you, come back to it. It might work for you just like it did for me. Okay. If I did not give it a second try, I would just, you know, just dump it or, you know, give it away or something. But it absolutely works for me. So if you like the notes that I mentioned, yeah. And I do get some smokiness because it's so heavy that I, I just think that it's, it's a mixture of all this uh, incense, amber, resin, even some leather. Okay, I, could, I don't know if it's imaginary, but I could pick up some leather in there, some smoke, yeah. All right, just a quick take on this, another wood. This is more of a powerful wood than the others in the, um, in the, in the, in the genre that I have. It doesn't go, go difficult, it's not skanky. Just one spray and let it go around. I picked this up a couple years ago. Okay, so if you have the recent formulation, I'm not sure how it's going to go now. But I heard as far as Chagov Oud, <sighs> do you know what? I would say Chagov just a bit better. There's more, if, as I recall, there's more saffron in there. There's a little bit more stuff in here. But it's also strong. But then I, I heard somewhere, I forgot where I picked that up, where they said this one was reformulated. And it's almost twice the price of this one. Maybe it is right now, double the price. Then this might be a better bed. The mood. La Tafa has been putting off good stuff. Um, every, almost all of them that I review, I really enjoy. And even this one uh, got back onto the positive side. So I'm very happy, you know, for the house. And the price is just, you know, just too awesome to to not give it a try. So if you're looking to wood, 
as a first timer or a beginner for this and you're looking for something that's powerful that's uh, long lasting this one on me lasts all day just all day I mean whole day from day to night I'll spray and be able to still pick up on my skin okay even though a little bit up close it's a skin sense but it's still there and no mistake about it it's, it's just glued my, to my skin okay if I put on my shirt the next day I'll still smell it so it is a beast for you know for, for me but like I said I picked mine up a couple years ago in the beginning of the pandemic I, I recall it somewhere there don't don't quote me on this okay as far as you know when I picked that and things like that when you buy a lot you kind of forget <laughs> exactly when okay so don't quote me on it um, I would think this is more masculine, but because of the sweet caramel vanilla, I think ladies could wear this as well. There is some rose in there. Uh, I do pick it up, but don't worry guys. It's a super, super small part. You'll miss it if you're not even looking for it. But I was looking up that, what was the, 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 the spicy thing? It was the pimento, the chili, spicy chili. When I looked at it, I saw, hey, there's rose. Yes, that's the something else that I was missing. So yeah, it is in there, but it's a small, small player. So don't be put off by it if you're very masculine type of guy, okay? Yeah, all right then. Um, I think that's all. As far as occasion, you know, the wood, not everybody's gonna go for it, but this is, in the air, it's pretty light. It's not heavy. Um, so you should not be concerned about it. Just one spray, wait half an hour, then go out and meet people. I think you should be good. You should be good to cool. In fact, oh, oh, I forgot to say this. Uh, I was, you know, wearing this one today for the review in the morning. And then my, my wife kind of walked by and she kind of stopped for a second. And I asked her why. And she said, oh, you smell nice. And I was surprised because this one is a little bit, like I said, sometimes it could be a little bit too harsh, right? Uh, but in the air, it's actually pretty mellow out. So for her to say that, she wasn't going to say anything. She usually don't bother to comment on my fragrance but she actually stopped till i asked her i was i kind of knew what's going on so i kind of asked and she said oh this smells pretty good okay so yep there it goes a ladies perspective in the air i hope that's helpful as always see you next time